The timing of leaf out, migration, flowering, and other seasonal activities in many species is closely tied to local weather conditions and broad climatic patterns. The USA National Phenology Network is now offering two suites of maps that shed light on plant and animal phenology based on local weather conditions. To view the phenology maps in the USA NPN's visualization tool, select the gridded layers menu on the left-hand side of the screen. This will open an interface that will allow you to add maps of accumulated growing degree days and the spring indices. Let's start by looking at the accumulated temperature maps. Heat accumulation in the spring is commonly used to predict the timing of phenological transitions in plants and animals. This accumulation is typically reported in growing degree days. We can use accumulated temperature to see how the season is unfolding, whether this season is different from normal, when pesticides should be sprayed, when to watch for certain species, when to harvest fruit, and more. Let's first load a map of temperature accumulation for the current day. There are two base temperatures available, 32 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The base temperature is the temperature below which a particular species will remain dormant. Which of these base temperatures you choose will depend on your species of interest. In general, a 32 degree base is often used by the scientific community, while a 50 degree base can be used for crops and insect pests. Let's first select the 50 degree base. If we zoom in on the map, we'll see that the map is made up of pixels, or squares, that are 2.5 kilometers wide. Each pixel has its own value for growing degree days, represented by the scale on the bottom of the page. If you click on a particular For example, western tent caterpillar larvae are active when accumulated growing degree days are between 100 and 500, using a 50 degree base. In order to know what time is best for managers to set out traps and spread insecticides to control these species, we can use the maps to know when certain locations in the U.S. fall within this range of accumulated growing degree days. The colors on the map that represent the range where we might expect to see tent caterpillars are a medium blue to a medium green. So places on the map in that range of colors would be areas that managers could search for caterpillars. Areas that are already yellow likely no longer have active caterpillars, and areas that are light blue to white likely do not yet have active caterpillars. You can also see how the temperature accumulation for a particular day of the year compares to a long-term average for that day of the year. To do this, we'll look at the daily anomaly, which compares the accumulated heat for the current day of the year to the accumulated heat for the same day of the year averaged over 1981 to 2010. This time, we'll use a 32 degree base temperature. On June 12, 2016, much of the U.S. had accumulated more growing degree days than is normal for this day of the year. We know this because the colors on the map correspond to the colors on the right end of the scale, where more growing degree days were accumulated by this day than normally happens by this day of the year. Keep in mind that this difference in the current year compared to average can change throughout the year. For example, on January 1st, there was no difference for that day between the current year and the long-term average, as temperature had not yet accumulated. However, on March 1st, we see that the difference has changed, with much of the West Coast and Central United States showing more accumulated temperature. And, just because you are ahead of schedule in the spring, does not mean that you will be ahead of schedule in the fall, as the accumulation can slow down relative to the 30-year average. 
The other category available for temperature accumulations is the 30-year average, which shows the accumulated temperature for each day of the year averaged over 1981 to 2010 for that day. In the next video, we'll look at the second type of phenology map you can explore in the visualization tool, the spring indices. We invite you to explore these maps to answer your own questions. For more information, visit the Phenology Maps page. For help, contact support at usanpn.org.